Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Error, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Drift Moon. Uh, Drift Moon is an indie game developed by Instant Kingdom, as you can see down here. Um, it's an RPG, and it's on. Uh, it was recently released on Steam. I guess I don't remember when. Early January of 2014, it was on sale, and I got it, and I really enjoyed it. I'm not usually into RPGs all that much, but like I said, it got uh, got Drift Moon, and I enjoyed it. So, yeah, here we are. Let's start a new game. Uh, as you can see here, it says uh, name male. Uh, so the default uh, character in the game is male. There are actually mods that you can install from like the game menu, uh, and one of them is to be a female character. So that's really cool. I don't think I'm going to be dealing much with mods in this game, um, but there may be a few. Like it changes uh, what some of the enemies look like, but uh, not anything anything too major. But uh, let's go. Oh, that caps lock. <laughs> uh, let's just put Harrison. Because my name is Harrison, if you didn't know that, you might not, but let's go ahead and continue. Uh, as you can see here, we have basically the different, um, different, how hard the game is going to be. Um, I, like I said, I'm not, I don't do RPGs all that much, so I'm just going to stay on champion. It's kind of the lower tier of, or the upper tier of the easy, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's just go ahead and start before I, uh, mess something else up. Harrison, my son, do you still remember Grandfather Marthen's Strange Gym? Things have gone terribly wrong with it. Please come see me as quickly as you can. I will tell you more when you arrive at North Drop Inn. I cannot risk riding more in this weather. Stay safe, your father Winston. After a long journey, you finally arrive at North Drop. Rinse the Hatmaker, North Drop's very own part-time village. Greeter is standing by the old well, apparently waiting for you. Hi, Harrison. Your mother couldn't come yet, so she told him to meet, meet you here by the well. I sure hope she'll be here soon. Uh, there have been some really strange people here today. We do like having visitors, but old Rinse seems to remember you're here again. But no matter, it's awfully nice to see you uh, back at the home village, Harrison. What brings you here now? Father sent me a letter. He wanted uh, to see me right away about some old jewel. Your father, eh? I wonder what Winston's up to now. He's been stuck in his new alchemy lab uh, for weeks. You know, I think I saw your brother Robert here just a few days ago. He must have been visiting your folks, too. It's good to see you, Rince. How are things at Northrop? Oh, Northrop is fine as always. Well, not so fine, actually. The old man scratches his head. Now that I think about it, it's actually been quite dreadful around here recently. Plotho had an unfortunate accident, but you're, luckily your mother was able to heal him. And Sierra has gone missing. Her parents are worried sick. And there's more, but maybe it's best we talk about that later. Your mother will come soon. Listen, Harrison, now that you're here, there's something I, uh, I've been wanting to rinse voice trails off as he sees your mother running towards you. Well, she's certainly in a hurry. We'll talk later. Meet me in the tavern tonight. Hey, Mom. How are, how are you doing? It's been a long time since we... They were coming. You must hide, Harrison. Right now. Please trust me. There's no time to explain. Suddenly, your mother runs towards you and pushes you into the well. Aw, thanks, Mom. You're always looking out for us. <laughs> Every time I hear that scream. Uh, it's just funny. In, your, in utter disbelief and shock, you have just you just have enough time to panic about the water level of the well before your head hits on the hits the rock bottom and all goes black. A long time passes, and absolutely nothing happens in the well. But far above you, a small silver feather starts falling down, endlessly tumbling and turning in the wind. It's very nearly blown off course, but it bravely hitches a ride on a passing jumbo bee. Finally, it reaches its target and floats down the well onto your unconscious body. It tickles your nose, and a violent sneeze wakes you up. As yesterday's events come back to you, your mind fills with questions. Why did your father want to meet you so urgently? Why did your mother suddenly push you down a well? How are you going to get out of here? So here we are. As you can see uh, by that little intro, uh, there's a lot of reading in this game. I'm not, and there are, in some conversations, there's a lot of choices. Um, so I'm not going to be going through all of those, uh, but basic, basically the most important ones. So we just picked up a torch. We can go to our inventory through tab or by pressing that. Uh, we have a torch now, so I'm just going to put that into here and go ahead and turn that on. We can turn it on by clicking it. Here's a silver feather. As you can see right now, our mana is 40. Uh, when we pick up that silver feather, our maximum mana was raised, and we have 41 mana now. So anytime you see uh, a feather in this game, you definitely want to pick it up. So let's go ahead and go through this uh, secret door. Um, we can walk by do using WASD or by holding uh, the mouse down and like clicking where you want to go. So you know, let's go ahead and attack this vicious spider web that we <laughs> he said I'm stuck in a web, and we just ran into it on our own. Anyway, uh, so you got experience for beating up a spider web I'm not really sure but whatever let's grab this dagger and we'll want to equip that uh, so we can see I put the dagger from the stone on the rightful air nah anyway let's oh, usually you can click on those and close it anyway never mind let's open this we can fight something by clicking it once as you can see here we have a small ooze 
uh, oozes. Uh, whenever you're fighting them, you get poisoned, and that's basically their only way to attack. Uh, there are bigger ones, but uh, we'll get into that later. We can pick up that, and I'll explain where that goes into the inventory a bit later. We can pick up this torch, and the thing with food is, as you can see here, we have a dried tomato fish. There is a lot of different kinds of food, but the amount of food that you have, or, well, the um, how much you can regenerate your health depends on how much food you have. So right now we have one health, so we eat, or one food. Uh, we eat all this stuff, and we have four now, so we can regenerate our health health more than we could when we had one so grab that feather open up this basket and we have some ooze slime and wood piece uh, these go into the crafting area uh, we can craft different things with this but we need the the blueprints for them uh, so we don't have those yet but we'll get different crafting ingredients and stuff like that later but let's go ahead and go up the ladder now and looks like we're in the tavern so that's cool um, yeah just explain that thank you game though um, let's go ahead and grab all that we can in here. Let's eat a food can somehow. I don't know how that works. Um, grab coins, because any, basically any time you can in this game, you want to grab all, any stuff in the environment that you can. What's that do? Oh, <laughs> it started to smoke here, and that's kind of cool. And dangerous, because because we can't turn it off. Um, hope the tavern doesn't turn, burn down. You know, let's go ahead and not miss the doorway. Let's go in here. It's Rinse the Hatmaker. What happened to you, Rinse? Coral type maker has been turned to stone. How is it even possible? If it's a statue, it's uncannily realistic. Well, that this seems like an issue. Uh, someone's in here, so it's locked. I need a key to open it. Uh, you can turn on candles by clicking on them. Just uh, saying that. So we need to find a key to open it. Uh, let's go ahead and eat all the stuff in here and turn. Oh, that reminds me. We need to turn off our torch. As you can see, it's at 65%. Uh, tor torches will eventually burn out, so you want to uh, conserve them. Uh, you do end up getting a lot of torches, so it's not that big of a deal, but yeah. Uh, sometimes you can pull chairs or other items aside and just by clicking and dragging, and there'll be items underneath, so you always want to look out for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and look for that key. Who's this? Galpsy. The old tavern keeper looks like a statue, but it can't be a statue. It looks much too real. Let's go ahead and grab all this stuff in here, because they're not going to be needed anymore. Health potion. A uh, health potion obviously nope, heals you, as you might guess. There's the tavern key. We want to close the door so we can get back here a bit easier. Amir, what's a, what a handsome face. And we're humble, too. Um, green salt, that's a crafting ingredient. And the mayor's order. Galpsy, that snatcher customer of yours has gone too far. He prowls around people's houses at night and scares our children. I cannot allow I cannot allow it to continue. I know it tells great stories about famous pirate treasures and drinks from thimble sized mugs, but I have to take action. I'm ordering Cormac to lock him up. I know you've banned Cormac from the tavern, but next time he comes you have to let him in. Yours, Mayor Bisquick. Bisquit, not Bisquick. <laughs> um yeah. What's that what's that sign say? You don't become best friends with every stranger you meet, but you may still learn from them. Okay, well, that's, I guess, that, yeah, that's true. Alright, let's go ahead and open here. Let me out of here. Uh, you scared me. You're surprised, uh, whoa, you scared me. You were surprised to see Word, your father's apprentice. Harrison, thank the make you're here. It's been a nightmare. We have to do something. Word, look out. The Word, look. <laughs> Sorry. These statues look ju look like people. Please tell me there's some creepy statue your father's ordered from ex an extremely skilled sculptor. The young man shakes with terror. It was terrible. A zillion lizard warriors attacked Nor Northdrop. Hawkpuff came behind my window and, t window and told me that everyone had t somehow turned to stone. Then there was a bright flash, and he turned to stone too. And your father, the lizards took him. There was nothing I could do. You must believe me. Why did they kidnap my father? Do you know where he, where he was taken? I don't know why they took him and left the rest of us here. Your father seemed anxious about something, but he didn't tell me much about his research. As usual, he wouldn't even uh, tell his own appren apprentice, apprentice uh, what was going on. He was in his lab uh, not day and night, and he told me to take a holiday. Would you believe it? Please, Harrison, we must find a way to help the villagers. They must have turned my dad into stone, too. Uh, do you remember anything else from the attack? I'll tell you what I remember. The first thing that I remember uh, is your mother running past my window, shouting, Harrison, I think she must have seen you. Then I saw some bright flashes that almost blinded me for a moment. After Hawkpuff came running towards my window, yelling, Run and hide, the Rakanar are attacking. They've turned the mayor to stone. Hawkpuff turned around and looked shocked and shouted something like, Oh no, don't take him! Winston, no! I didn't see your father uh, from a little window, but Hawkpuff obviously did. Right afterwards, there was another flash, even brighter than the ones I've seen before. When my eyesight returned, a hog puff had been turned to stone as well, just under my window. That's all I saw, being locked up in that room. It only took a few minutes, I think. Uh, that's enough detail. Uh, who locked you in here? He blushes slightly. My father grounded me for the night because I wanted to meet a girl. Suddenly, tears well up in his eyes. But she's probably turned to stone, too. Oh, well, that's sad. Um, let's go. This one. I was supposed to meet my father here in North, at North Drop Inn, and he had... 
and he had something very important to discuss, but now he's uh, been kidnapped. What do you think we should do next? I really wish we should... We I knew what we should do. Suddenly a light dawns in words eyes. Uh, I just remember something. Your father told me there's a letter for you in his house. I'll come with you. Lead the You lead the way. Word seems to think for a few seconds. I don't know what's happened, but this could be dangerous. We should pick up anything we think might is useful in the important... In, <laughs> we should pick up anything we think is useful in the village. I'm sure no one will mind. Uh, no, they probably won't. Um, so, like we want to do always, just grab everything that we can in here. Um, I believe there's something under these boxes. Yep. Uh, I guess word won't mind if we take that money. I don't think there's anything else, but we want to look at this, because this is actually just, we need this for story progression. You find a big red fish. It has a rich, its rich war aroma numbs your sinuses and leads you to believe the fish has, is rather elderly. Let's examine it. Looks like the fish has choked on a diamond. You pull the diamond out, wondering how a fish can choke. Well, that's a good question. Uh, something that we should do, uh, you just saw we got, got experience. Um, before we do anything else, uh, oh, never mind, I guess you can't do that. Oh, I thought we could, uh, add some stuff on here, but never mind. Uh, we'll get into that when we level up, which shouldn't be too long, or too far. So, uh, this, by the way, this door was, like, lock, blocked by all this stuff, so we can't get out that we had to go through here. Under here, though, I believe there is a fire powder. Um, and so... In this game, you can pick up things from the ground, obviously, and there are some things that are hidden. Well, oh, it looked like the game just kind of did something, but anyway, there's a silver feather that was under here. I didn't mean to drag it, but oh well, silver feather, always nice. Uh, oh, I forgot. Here's our mother, and she is also turned to stone, so she saved us by pushing us into the well, but she also got uh, uh, frozen into stone like everyone else, unfortunately. Um, but like I said, you can pick up things uh, along on the ground. So here's a splinter tree. We can get that for twigs, which are useful for making uh, torches later in the game. Here's another thing. Uh, some people were oh, he saying that they threw coins on this bridge, off this bridge. North Shop's main tourist attraction, the all-time shortest bridge on Drift Moon. That it is. Uh, let's grab all these coins, even though it's not. I guess it won't make all that much difference, but it's nice to get the money anyway. Um, here's a spider. Usually when you, oh, attack, you get stuck in spider webs, uh, spiders will come out and attack you. Uh, they can sometimes poison you. Uh, it doesn't look like this one is going to be able to, but, yeah. So then you can attack the spider web and get out of it. So, you know, what is Ord doing? He was, like, going, never mind. Uh, oops, bunch of trees. Um, so, oh, there's some money. Uh, evil bushes, you can eat the berries off of these, just the way I like them. Uh, sure. Um, and normally, I would kind of go around off screen and get all this mushrooms. You can eat them. I believe that there is a silver feather right here. Um, and I go around off screen and get all this stuff, but I just kind of want to show this in the first episode. Uh, show you guys what I would be doing off screen. Let's grab this evil bush. Nice, that berry had a tasty perfumal worm in it. If you say so, I mean, I don't know. Let's go over here and look at Hogpop. Hogpoff the Brave, I can't believe they petrified him as well. Well, Hogpoff probably won't be needing that shield. The mirror shield, after losing all of his arrows in a campaign against the short-lived spiky empire, Hogpoff the Brave ordered a shield that would magically reflect all arrows back to their origin. Unfortunately, the magic only works three times out of ten, but that didn't stop Hogpoff from carrying around carrying it as round as a handy mirror in case his hair ever needed readjusting. So, as you uh, heard there, that the shield, like, sometimes there are enemies that will shoot things at us, uh, mostly arrows, but, um, three times out of ten, it will reflect the arrows back at them. So that's always nice. So we want to go in here, because that's where we need to go. Uh, so get stuck in the spider web, and there should be a spider coming sometime. There we are. Look, it's Athagug, or whatever that name is. Uh, there, we got poisoned. Uh, I don't, sometimes the poison lasts for longer. This poison probably won't. I'm not sure if that's just an early game thing, because right now we don't have any antidotes to, uh, Heal the poison, but he's a thank you pearl. The pets in Cormac Shack always give me the creeps. Petrified spiders? Completely petrified. Okay. Lend a hand or I'll key haul you. Just a second, dude. Just let me eat this stuff that's probably been here for you for, like, I guess not that long. I was gonna say a day or two, but we just showed up, like, yesterday, so. I wanna put these leather, uh, gloves. Soft leather gloves. They're better against the cold than against cuts and bruises, but they give us plus one armor, so, you know. Let's go ahead and. Oh, wait. Cormac. Cormac, they clearly haven't petrified uh, all of his animals, only some of them. So, they got some flowers, some ants, and this snatcher, Blotch. 
Inside the glass tank lies a large snatcher. It looks old and uh, wizened and has an eye patch and, uh, and a hook claw. Shiver me timbers. A landlubber comes to help, help out an old salt like me. Quick me, beauty. Let me out. I'm trapped. Who are you? Arr, they call me Blotch because I spilled ink on the captain's map. Arr, threw me to the sharks they did, but they didn't expect me to swim away. Been a land pirate ever since. What's happened here? I'd be beggared if I'd know what happened to all these landlubbers. Some ugly rack and warriors rushed in here, then a... And a bright flash, Cormac and the spiders just froze up. No one's been here since. I, I'm starving in this cage with nothing but a giant cheesecake to eat. And what's worse, I just ate the last of it. The snatcher burps loudly. I'd uh, give a piece of bait for a good cookie and a grog right now. However, when I catch the lizards, uh, I have a, I have a mean right hook. You see, he has a he has a right hook. <laughs> it's a pun. Um, so that was actually this guy, uh, Blotch, is actually the one that we read about in the mayor's letter. But uh, that's just some something to notice I guess but I will let you out let me down here's a hero when you need him uh, need one you got to help a poor old sea dog I'm, a, I'm in a real fix this is no ordinary glass me lad it's some kind of magic the door only opens but to the command of the owner and he's that scurvy ho horn swaggler in the quarter frozen or dead as stone but there's another way a diamond can cut through this glass like a cutlass through an old through old captain firebeard all right but there be no diamonds in the whole village the only one I knew have got eaten by a big red fish well, isn't that convenient? Stand back. I will cut the case open with this diamond. You take out a blue... Oh, karma gained. As you can see there, uh, karma... You can gain and lose karma in this game. Uh, yeah. Um, I prefer to just do the tasks that gain it. Uh, there are ways that you can lose karma, but... Um, I guess I may show losing karma just to show it. But the more karma you get, uh, you can get discounts in the shops. And some there's an upgrade later where, where your companions will do more damage the more karma you have. So, that's good. Uh, we take out the blue diamond and cut a hole in the cold glass. Arr, I thought we'd go into David Jones' locker for sure. You have the heart of a real buccaneer. I will repay you. Just say what you want and I'll, I will give it to you. Uh, you can't get anything from you from him anyway, so we just, we don't need a reward. Whether you need it or not, it's, uh, it's me right, it's me right to give you one, laddie. See, I'm the one who that's been saved. It's a bloody shame I didn't, uh, seem to have doubloons or a cutlass to hand, handy just yet. But I will wait around these, uh, here for a while before I wait anger and hoist them within. Now don't be afraid to ask in case you, uh, ye have need of me. Alright, and we got a new level, so, uh, that's what I was show trying to show earlier. Uh, I thought we could access these other points before we got a level, but, oh well. Usually, uh, leveling up only gives you one point to spend here, uh, but we have three to start off, so that's nice. Uh, so as you can see here, we can upgrade any of these. Uh, strength, strength uh, affects how power is how powerful you are. Dexterity is how fast you can attack. Agility is how fast you move. Uh, constitution is how much health you have, and intelligence is how much mana you have. So let's go with strength, dexterity, and constitution. Yeah. Okay. And uh, as you can see there, you could uh, subtract them if you made a mistake, uh, but we can't anymore. Uh, so here we have different things. Um, I don't know. I've I usually go with shield bash. I've never uh, used the goldfish scout. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I kind of want to try it out for this let's play though. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. Uh, it gives us the ability to see the rare but tasty goldfish that plague the land. Uh, and there's 13 fish apparently. I'm not really sure, but let's go with it. I mean, I may look into this and see if there's anything um, about it. But anyway, so. The next thing we need to do is find our father's letter at the alchemy shop, shop although that may have been up there earlier. Uh, you can look at our quest by pressing Q, or the quest log. But anyway, um, I think that is about it for this episode. Here's <laughs> uh, the milk fountain, pride of milk shop, starting to smell a bit funny, I notice. Uh, yeah, so I think that's about it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you have any suggestions, if you played the game before, uh, if, and if I miss anything especially, uh, be sure to tell me and things like that. Uh, but I hope you guys have an awesome day slash night slash morning slash evening slash whatever other vaguely specific time today there is. And I think that is about it. Next episode will be uh, for adventuring further into the, into the village and maybe getting to the alchemy shop. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, we can talk to Word. Let's. I want to ask him something. I've always wondered, what's with your name, Word? You don't really want to know, do you? His, <laughs> the question immediately brings a nice red tint on Word's face. Uh, no, it's just... Oh! Oh no! I, I cut it through it! No! Okay. It's a pretty lame story, but if you, uh, have to know, when my parents met, Dad approached my mom saying, Can I have a word with you? I guess they thought it'd be a funny inside joke to name their first child Word. But with their twisted sense of humor, it could have been a lot worse. Just think of my brother, Payne. Okay. Anyway, guys. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>